Tina Reed, your 4-H Youth Development Agent here in Meade County at the Meade County Cooperative Extension Service Office. And uh, this is another Meade County 4-H Pumpkin Palooza video activity. And today we are going to take our pumpkin that we had left over from roasting our pumpkin seeds and we are going to make a bird feeder with it. So in your Pumpkin Palooza packet, uh, if you signed up to get a packet and receive some pumpkins, you already have this. If not, and you are watching this video from our Facebook page or from our website, you can get a copy of this packet by calling our office at 270-422-4958, or you can email me and I can email the packet to you, or if you'd rather, we can mail one to you as well. So um, if this interests you, there are uh, science experiments in here, there are recipes, there are crafts, and lots and lots of fun things, just general information about pumpkins, because it is that time of year um, that pumpkins are in abundance in our area. So here's some fun things to do with those pumpkins. So today we are going to do this, the pumpkin bird feeder activity. So you're going to turn to that page. The instructions are on the back. So obviously to do this activity, you are going to need a small to medium sized pumpkin. So I have my pie pumpkin here. You are going to need um, some small sticks, which I need to go dig some of those up really quick. You are going to need some twine or rope. You're going to need some scissors, possibly a knife, <clears throat> which if you have a knife, you need an adult person close by. And then you also need some bird seed. So let me pause for just a second and go get some sticks and then we will get started. Okay, so I have my sticks here. So we can proceed. So according to our instructions in our pumpkin palooza packet, it says that we need to take our pumpkin and cut it in half. However, we have a pumpkin that's already been cleaned out. Um, so we are just going to take our pumpkin, again, using a knife, or if you have a pumpkin carver at home, um, an adult person needs to do this with you or be present when you do it. We're going to cut our pumpkin. Now pumpkins are really tough to cut. That's why it's important you have an adult person close by. You wanna make sure that when you're cutting this that you keep it as level as possible. The tough little guy here. But your safety. Okay, so that's not so bad. There we go. So I've cut the top part of my pumpkin off. We'll do something with that in just a second. So now we have our pumpkin base. And we're going to take our sticks. And according to the instructions, if we were starting from a whole pumpkin, at this point we would hollow out and take out all the seeds. Um, but we've already done that. So now we are going to take our sticks and we're going to poke them into, might need to make a little starter hole with our knife, into the side of the pumpkin. And this will create a perch for the bird. It's a little tough. But it's also what we are going to attach our twine to so we can hang up our bird feeder. So, and it's okay if it sticks in a little bit, that'll just help give it some leverage. Okay, so we're gonna do this on all four sides. The next thing that we are going to do is cut our twine. So it says to uh, cut not two lengths of the rope together at the center and tack to the bottom of the pumpkin feeder. So we're going to look at our twine here. And I'm not sure how 
how long you want to make these. You kind of have to eyeball it a little bit, depending on how far you want it to hang down, okay? So we're gonna knot that together. We're gonna make a knot. So I'm gonna alter this instruct these instructions just a little bit, just to make it a little bit easier. So we have um, knotted our strings at the top. And we're gonna do a little knot like this and attach it to our perch. And we're just gonna tie that onto the perch, okay? I don't know about tacking it to the bottom of the pumpkin. So we're gonna do it this way. Since we have our lovely perches attached. And we're gonna take the other end of our string And we are going to tie it to the perch opposite. We're gonna make a circle, make a little circle. Put it on the string, put it on the perch there, and tie it about three times. So, so far we have two of our perches completed, okay? We're gonna do that again with the other side. But we need to make sure that our strings are somewhat in the same length. And we can adjust that as we go. So again, we're gonna do a loop, right? Make sure the ends match up. So we have a loop. We're not gonna tie a loop, a hole in this loop yet because we're gonna send it to the other one. So then we're gonna do what we did before on our perches. And tie it about three times, three knots. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're getting ready to make our last knot. But before we do that, we're going to fix our loop up here at the top. And I'll hold it down in just a second so you guys can see it. Okay, so you remember we had our loop. So now we're gonna take, here's our loop from our first two. And then we're gonna take our twine from this one. And we're gonna feed it through the loop. We're gonna fold it up so that it's nice and taut, okay? And so then once it's, once it is where it needs to be, I want you to feed the, this thread, the, ah, not the thread, the twine feed it through again so it just has a place to hold on to, okay? All right, then we're going to take, let's flip this around, our twine, and we're gonna measure it to, you know, so it's nice and tight, the other three pieces. So that's where we need to make our circle. This twine piece is very, very long. So we're gonna slip it on, and I'm gonna hold up my twine again just to make sure Everything is nice and tight. There we go. So it is. I'm gonna tighten down the twine and tie three more times. So one, two, three. So I have some extra twine here. Just gonna trim it off. Don't need all that. And then once you hold up, you know, fix the, you know, make sure it's all equal, all even. We grab our loop at the top and we hold it up. Then we have our bird feeder that we can hang up outside. So depending on the type of bird you want to collect or, um, not collect, but uh, attract to your yard. This time of year is a little 
you know, the birds are starting to migrate away. So I am just going to use some fruit and nut blend, which attracts bluebirds, cardinals, waxwings, mockingbirds, woodpeckers, and more. So I'm just going to use this and I'm going to fill up my bird feeder here. And then that will keep my bird friends happy. It will give them some nice food to snack on as the weather starts to cold, get cold. And I have got wasted the bottom of my pumpkin. I have upcycled it and used it for something good, for someone else or something else like the bird. So there is our pumpkin bird feeder, my friends. So I can hang that up in my yard. Now we do have this little piece of pumpkin left over. So what I'm going to do with it, obviously I can't put bird seed in it because it has a hole in it. But I have a feeling there might be some little squirrels in my yard that might enjoy having a little pumpkin tree. So again, with my twine, and plus if we put a little snack out for the squirrels, then perhaps they will leave the bird seed alone so that the birds can eat them. So I have doubled over my twine. See, I have my loop here. I've tied it off, and I'm simply just gonna take this, loop it through, loop the twine through, and create a hanger. And then I left it a little long so that I can hang it from a tree in my backyard and it'll hang down to where the squirrels can get to it. So a treat for the birds, a treat for the squirrels. Everyone's happy and can be friends. So my friends to you, my 4-H friends, thank you for watching this video today. And I hope that you enjoy making this pumpkin bird feeder.